Hello everyone, Lester here from Omni Predict. In today's tutorial video, we're going to connect Omni Predict app with uh, Elementor, the popular WordPress uh, website builder, using webhooks. Webhooks is one of the most modern ways to transfer data between platforms, pretty much you know, so in real time. So it's a great integration to have. I'm going to go to my screen. You can see here I'm already in the webhook section. I'm going to create a brand new webhook. Forms website. It's a uh, good to organize your tags, your contacts, you can segment in the future, you can trigger automations, etc. So it's a very good functionality to have. Try to watch our videos also about tags. I'm gonna click, click on create and here I have the webhook ready. I'm gonna copy it also to be ready and that's it up to here. Now I have a plain a vanilla WordPress only with Elementor activated. I'm gonna uh, make the page and I'm gonna go and create a new page and more specifically we're going to do a form on this video so i'm dragging a form here this is a default form coming from elementor as you can see they have name email message this is not an elementor tutorial so if you want to uh, change uh, you know like how you can customize add or remove fields there are uh, a lot of videos on youtube that you can do that but i'm going to go directly to the actions so uh, the action here is uh, as you can see it's, uh, the default is to collect submission and send an email to the admin of the page. So I'm going to go and add the web functionality that will transfer practically our data from Elementor directly inside Don't Predict that. This can help you many, this can help you many ways. You can have all first of all your contacts organized in one place, right? So you don't have to export import data. You can use it if it's a contact form, you can use it as uh, auto reply. But it doesn't have to be a contact form. Lots of people they use the forms inside Elementor, for example, for leads and purposes. So you can if you are using WordPress and Elementor for landing pages and drive uh, traffic for paid marketing. Even if you have a login form, you can create unlimited custom fields and use it for your automation and for your marketing. Uh, a case scenario is that you collect a lead and then you might want to send a lead, this lead like every day, one email for the next 30 days, let's say. So you're going to use the webhook integration. How we do that? We click here on webhook. As if you remember, I already copied from here my webhook. I'm clicking here on paste. I'm clicking on update. And this is done. So let's go and make also a test together. So I'm clicking here Mike demo, just a random name. I'm going to give Mike at email.com and I'm going to click on send. Okay, here we have a demo record. So I'm going to go back now to my manage list and check my master list. And as you can see here, we have our demo entry coming in. Here is the email. Here we have a source at the web form. This is a tag that we discussed earlier. We have videos about tags, it would be very useful to watch them. And here we have a custom field that is Mike demo. For custom fields and fields in general, we have a lot of tutorials, so watch also this to help you organize your contact list better. This is the, uh, the tutorial for today. If you have any questions, please uh, contact our team at support.dominopredict.com, live chat also available, and that's it. Thank you very much for watching.